In this video, we're going to look at a relatively simple example with using phasers and circuit analysis. In this example, we want to find the voltage V of T across the inductor shown here. The first step is to convert the circuit into its equivalent phasor form. The phasor for the voltage source, which I'll denote as V sub S, can be written as 2 with an angle of 0 degrees, or simply 2 volts. We also need to find the impedance of the inductor and the capacitor. The impedance of the inductor can be found using the equation Z equals J omega L. The frequency omega can be found by looking at the voltage source. Here we can see that it's 2. The inductance is 1 Henry, which gives us an impedance of J2 ohms. The impedance of the capacitor can be found using the equation Z equals 1 over J omega C. Again, the frequency is 2. The capacitance is 1 half farad. This gives us an impedance of 1 over J ohms. I prefer to write that as minus J ohms. I got that by multiplying the top and bottom of this expression by J. After finding the phasor form of the voltage source and both impedances, we can rewrite this circuit in its equivalent phasor form, as shown here. Next, we can notice that the voltage we're trying to find across the inductor is also the same as the voltage across the resistor, because both elements are in parallel. To simplify analysis of the circuit, we can combine these two elements into their equivalent parallel impedance. The equivalent impedance is shown here. simplify this expression, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. To do the math, you'll see that this turns out to be 8 plus 8j over 8 ohms, which reduces again to just 1 plus j ohms. After finding the parallel impedance, we can simplify the circuit again shown here. Next, we can see that the voltage that we're trying to find can be determined by using a simple voltage divider rule. The denominator, both j's will cancel, which gives us a voltage phasor of 2 plus 2j. Two to write this into its time domain form, we need to find the magnitude of V and also the angle of V, or the phase. The magnitude can be found by squaring both the real and imaginary components, taking the square root, which gives us a magnitude of 2 root 2. The angle can be found by taking the inverse tangent of the imaginary component divided by the real component gives us a phase angle of 45 degrees. The time domain expression for the voltage across the inductor is therefore 2 root 2 cosine 2t plus 45 degrees. Remember, the frequency 2 was given to us initially.